It's like a cute slug. Yeah, I'm grabbing it. Not so. Oh, Beth hates the stuff. We're on a budget today, so that's not gonna slide. Hello, guys. Today I'm with Beth again. We're gonna be thrifting together, of course. We're actually gonna be teaching you guys how to thrift on a budget. The challenge for today is we're gonna thrift outfits for under $25. I'm gonna put a couple pictures for inspiration. I'm thinking maybe a skirt would be cute, or definitely something really baggy. Like, I really want some new baggy jeans or baggy shorts. I'm not really like looking for anything in particular. I'm kind of just gonna like go in and let the vibes. I'll be giving you tips throughout the video. Oh, and today we're gonna be using the Beth cam. Oh, MD. <laughs> oh, MD. So that you can watch both of us thrift at the same time. So we're gonna show you our outfits and then we'll head to the first store. I love how the birds wanna be quiet now that like we're done. Oh, we're done. It's yeah. crazy. Okay. okay. Thrifted this beanie. This is a thrifted tank top and a thrifted under white shirt. These are Calvin Klein jeans that I just got. But the shoes are Mista. I don't remember the name, just like black clogs. And then my bag is a thrifted Kenneth Cole. Okay, I'm wearing this skeleton t shirt. I actually wore this to sleep last night and then woke up and was like, actually, this is still the moment. So I'm I'm wearing these sleeves underneath it, some silver jewelry today. And then I have on these cargos from Garage. And I'm just wearing these beater Nikes. I don't even know where these came from, I'm not gonna lie, secondhand somewhere. And star of the show today Hell yeah. is this jersey. It's this guest purse that I put a belt on. And it's so nice because I can put like my phone in the pockets. We look kinda cute together. Just remember those? <laughs> oh. Okay, don't don't show that on the screen. <laughs> it broke for a reason because now it's just removable. It's literally just removable. That is a safety hazard. I have nothing to say. Okay, we got some coffee. First of all, cheers. The first tip I want to give is when you're thrifting on a budget, it's important to make sure that everything that you buy has a purpose in your wardrobe, which is personally why I love to use Pinterest as a means of gaining inspiration and also just as a means to be able to visualize how a piece could work in an outfit. I feel like it can be difficult to imagine new pieces fitting into your wardrobe if you don't have all the pieces to make it work, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy it. You just have to continue to build upon it. The whole time, so that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I've literally been in here for less than like two minutes. Now we're looking at the purses. Beth already grabbed something from over here. I love anything that has beading. Like, wow, that's pretty. From what I've seen so far, I have a feeling that this store might have a good t-shirt selection. I don't always like to take the time to go through all the t-shirts, but I'm thinking that might be where I start today. I actually happened to pass by the skirts on my way to the t-shirts because this caught my eye. It's a really pretty white skirt with this eyelet detailing. I'm not sure what the waist size is, but I think that this might fit the girl that I'm doing a style bundle for. Got this little Juicy Couture jacket hanging at the end of the rack. I might have been interested if it had a cute graphic on the back, but it's super plain and it looks damaged as well, so. In the coat section, Beth pointed out this Rokawear puffer with this like fur trim hood, which does look really cute, but she also pointed out that it might be too big for me and it kind of looks like it is. I don't know, I'll try it on before I assume that I don't like it. Oh, just kidding, I won't because this is $45, so I'm just gonna <laughs> swiftly put that one back. Um, we're on a budget today, so that's not gonna slide. All right, let me take my ass to the t-shirts, like I said 10 minutes ago. Hi guys, this is a little awkward for me because I'm not Kyla. I don't do this shit for the camera, but I don't have any type of game plan. I'm kind of just wandering around hoping for the best. I'll get back to you. <laughs> I really like the graphic on this t-shirt, but I'm so picky about the texture. So I don't know, I'm gonna hold on to it for now and I'll also show it to Beth. Honestly, some crazy heat in the t-shirt section today. At least I'm entertained. Most of the time looking through the t-shirt, I'm so bored. The sweatpants section looks so promising. Like a whole row of men's sweats. I love oversized straight leg sweatpants and I really don't have any, so it'd be really nice to find some. Some nice quality Adidas pants. I don't like the texture though. I feel like high school me definitely would have bought these. Okay, I'm in the book section because this is making me nervous. But like I said earlier, I had like no type of game plan going into this except vibes. And I've been doing pretty good. I found some really cool pieces. There's also two girls walking around, like two cool looking girls walking around who keep like moving stuff around. I don't know if they're trying to hide it or like what, but I'm grabbing it. 
This was like the very first thing I found. It's this H&M sweater. It's just like a, you know, I've been really into like dark denim cream sweater. I'm literally using this fucking vending machine as a mirror. I think I like it. And then for the sake of the video, I was thinking about doing a dress and then just accessorizing because that's so easy. But that also seems like cheating. These, none of these clips are gonna be in focus. Kyla's gonna beat my ass. Gosh, she's gonna kill me, she's gonna beat my ass. But I found this cutie number. It's like, I don't even know how to, I don't know, maybe not for the video, but I might get it. What else do you got in that little card of yours? <gasps> no way, oh, I was gonna ask if you filmed yet. Okay, like Beth Cam's on it, bitch. Gosh, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna Beth's got a fat cart. Mine, not super full, but we're gonna do a little try on number. They put this mirror here just for us. Well, I think my strategy has turned into, I'm just shopping for myself and whatever's under $25, that'll be the fit. There's gonna be one outfit made under 25 bucks and we are still shopping according to the regularly scheduled program. I don't know how I feel about this. or such a vibrant vest. Because vests seem a little bit impractical to me. Looks really good with this outfit, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, this one needs some explaining. It's just a big old sweater dress, but I thought if I cut the this off, then it would just be like a real big sweater that I can layer with. This looks thought about you. Really small. And you're not gonna put it on your head, are you? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on my head right now. Let's see. Not even a little bit. This is a sock. I would have liked this. Had it of um, stretch to fit my big ass head. Is it like overdone? I think the fit of it would be very flattering on you. I love that it's a deep, With the a deep V. Yes. So this is like the only thing I found. I think I decided that this is the type of t-shirt. This texture is one that is easier to cut the neckline off of. So I think this would be cute to wear like off the shoulder. Actually, wait, hold on. It's kind of big. We gotta try this on. Like imagine like a sheer lace black top. Ooh, a sheer lace black top, like you sold me, honey. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, with my denim jeans, they're like kind of brown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to show these real quick because there's absolutely nothing exceptional about these except for the fact that these are from the little kids section and don't knock the little kids section for literal baby tees that fit exactly how they're supposed to. Yes. Absolutely yes, absolutely yes, absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Okay, I want your initial thoughts on this and then I'm gonna explain. Initial thoughts are, I really love the color against your skin tone, one. Two, I love the lace. Okay, so what are you thinking now? What if I told you I would wear it on a cruise to the Bahamas? Cruise to the Bahamas, honey. Sold. Imagine the sunset, the beach in the background. Ooh, wee baby. I really like these because there's nothing on them. They're just a cream yellow cowboy. Can I feel beard. them? Yeah. Oh, the texture of these is so nice. I feel like when it comes like to boots, soft leather. Yeah, like you can tell leather. when the quality is actually nice and also when it's not going to peel. And I know Kyla's real big about like the quality of things, but yeah. like I like when things are a little beat up. Love. Like, Don't forget to test out y'all's pieces. <laughs> Damn, Tati. Wait, do that one again. Okay, thrift tip number two. If you're on a budget and you need to save money, honestly, you kind of need to try the pieces on before you leave. It's a huge waste of money to get home and realize that something doesn't fit you, especially when it's not returnable or when you know you're not gonna return it. So if you can, layer your clothes or wear something that you can try on your pieces with. That way you leave the store already knowing that it's something that you feel good in. Thrift tip number three. Check the quality of your pieces. This dress that I literally just tried on, I was so excited about. And then after examining the lace, there's literal holes in it. Like I said, I love when things are like worn in, but not beat up. In Kyla's last video, she talked about how when she sees something on the rack, she has to go through everything in front of it as like building suspense. I don't do that. I literally skim the racks until I see a color or pattern or fabric that I think looks interesting, and then I go straight to it. And if I think it's a little bit interesting or that it like might possibly work, I put it in the cart and I let it marinate because that is so important. Let it marinate, try it on, and then examine it. And that's how you'll know if it's worth leaving with. And also, if you are like so indecisive about it, don't get it, in my personal humble opinion. See, I'm sitting here thinking about like ways that I could make it work and I just need to put the dress down because also overconsumption is a bitch. <laughs> overconsumption is a bitch. All right, next door. These are some big business carts. Like, how do you start with this? Watch this. <laughs> kind of cute, kind of cheeky. I actually have been looking for a red purse. It kind of looks like a cute slouchy bag. I like the studs. I don't know, it's a little bit big. I'll try it on and see how it feels. 
This Goodwill is cute because it has a whole little school section, like a bunch of paper and notebooks. This is so good for cheap school supplies and just accessibility in general. Checking out the skirt section. This one caught my attention because it's so many. It might be like too many for me though. I forget that I'm not. <laughs> as small as I used to be. Okay, I already looked through the jeans. I spared you guys because there was nothing there, which I figured must mean that there's something in the other pants section that will work for our outfit. The color caught my attention first, and I found these little yellow Abercrombie & Fitch sweats. So we're gonna try these on. Hey, girl. Guys, I'm really happy we're finding more things in the same little pants section. First are these My Michelle gray pinstripe pants. They're low rise, and it looks like they have a flared leg. I really like the texture. They're super soft. And there's some cargos here too. I always wish these were full length. These look like capris. And I don't think I'll try these on because I don't love the color. But these are old navy ultra low waist. So I know for the right person, these will be so flattering. Reminds me of H2O. Okay, I've picked out a bunch of options, so my fourth tip for thrifting on a budget is going to be to stop while you're ahead. It can be really tempting, especially for me to keep looking once I've already found good stuff because I want to find more good stuff. But part of being on a budget is being disciplined and having self-control. So we're going to go ahead and try these things on so that if I find some cute things and it fits in my budget, I can just leave and be happy with what I found. All right, guys, it's time. Oh. I've got on these yellow sweats. Beth says she likes them. I like that they're slim. It's kind of a new fit for me. I feel like as I'm moving, my crotch looks kind of weird. A little bit feeling like a sausage. Hey, put it on me. This good will. It's not It's a bad <laughs> one. <laughs> these cargos are straight up diabolical. Just absolutely horrendous. Thoughts on these pants? They land on your feet really nice and the crotch isn't too low. Wow, they actually, they pick up the light so well on camera. They look very luxurious. My also, brain. this purse, very obsessed. Like a little going out Atlanta bar. Mm. Oh my god. I actually can't hardly contain myself with the, the image. Color? Yeah, are you kidding? Are you kidding? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get aggressive. <laughs> Can they read that? <laughs> That's literally so perfect. Guys, Beth hates this top. Thinks it's treacherous, thinks it's hideous, and guys, it's kind of making me smile because I really like this. And the color, like, Beth, you're tripping. I'm sorry, but I'm buying this. Team Beth or Team Kyla on this one, guys? It's a little controversial, but. They're gonna say Team Kyla just because they like it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love you too. We're so out of here. Should we do jazz hands? It's haul time. Okay, we're gonna start with everything that we bought for ourselves first, and then we'll show you our $25 and under thrifted outfits at the end. I'm gonna start because I got way, way more shit than Kyla did. It always happens like this, but it's fun. Well, you go thrifting more often than I do too. That's very true. So when I go, I go. I got two pairs of shoes. The first one are these baby pink rocket dog like slipper clogs. They're kind of like the Ugg slip-ons, but like not at all. Similar concept, different execution. The next pair of shoes I got are my new children. I got these cowboy boots. They're beautiful, like creamy, yellow, like beigey color. Just a good basic, but like it's a cowboy boot. There's nothing basic about that. I think we're gonna do accessories. We actually, let's just pull them up to the back. We both got red purses. This was literally the very first thing I put in my cart. It's just this <laughs> rectangular, super skinny, super good size. I don't know what texture this is. It's okay. like leather, but it's got dots on it. It's got this little number. It's a good bright red bag. And then I, okay. literally last night, I was talking about how I wanted an actually red purse, like a real red purse. Okay. <laughs> You know, I had to go and get one. Okay, sorry. I love the straps on the side. Has silver buckle detailing, couple silver studs. Feels like one of those mom bags because it has so much room inside. So I'm gonna start with this one because it's not actually for me. It's this, I'm just gonna goddamn say it, ugly cat scarf. It's velvet on the other side. Next, I got this brown nike beanie it's just a brown knit and then it's reversible to stripes it's just one of those like ugly things that i'm gonna make work and then i got another hat i got this cutie little pink crochet beanie that i'm pretty sure it's homemade but it's literally so dang cute <laughs> And then I got a couple of ties because I've been loving tying them to a bow or like using them as a belt. So the first one I got is this yellow one. It's got these, I think they're sunflowers. I don't know, it's a cool pattern. It's from the Met. And then I got this blue one with little, little white and yellow dots and they look like eggs to me. Okay, we're gonna do jackets next because I can't wait to show off this amazing jacket that I you got. You deserve it. I got this huge motorsport racing jacket. I love the checkerboard on the back. The fit is really, really nice. I usually am not super drawn to the color orange, but that's a different story. This is a different story, however. 
Beth also found this very cute jacket that you guys Let saw in store. It. It's this like distressed brown leather. It's definitely not real leather, but it's very soft. It doesn't feel super incredibly cheap. Like it feels like it'll hold up and it fits kind of like a slinky moment. I don't wear brown that often, but this is just such a good piece. I got this like dark green Pooh Bear, really big oversized sweatshirt. There's a little itty bitty Pooh right there. Itty Okay, now we're gonna show you our tops. This one, I'm so excited about this. Okay, I don't care that Beth doesn't like it. She actually was like, I can't let you leave the store if you buy this. And all it did was motivate me. Like, as soon as she said, I don't like that, like a smile on my face immediately. First of all, I love the color. I really love the color green. And especially like, just look at the way the light hits it. I love the dimensionality. I I just made up that word um, of it with all my jewelry layered and like this with a black mini skirt. I'm talking mini, okay? Some tights, some tall boots, and all the jewelry. Like, this is insane. I can't really give Kyla too much shit because Kyla told me not to get this shirt and I did it anyway. This is literally, I'm pretty sure, a children's Walmart shirt. It's this little baseball long sleeve tee that says lover on it. And Kyla said it was kind of giving Shein, which you're not completely wrong, but. But they, Shein copied this. Like, this is still the OG. You know what I mean? Right. And she's a lover. So it I'm fits. a lover. And then I did show this in the store, but it's this H&M sweater. She's got these holes in it. It's a beautiful cream color. I said in the store in my own clips, and I was like, it's just giving like dark denim cream sweater. And then the last shirt I got is one of the favorite things I got because it was the very last thing I found. It's this green shirt that says, everyone loves an Irish girl. It's one of those like 2007, I got this in PCB shirts. Really good. This isn't a dress, it's actually a romper. I got this for my best friend. Friends. It's this Urban Outfitters white frilly romper with similar texture to the purse that Beth got with the little polka dotty kind of things. Cinched waist, layered bottom. I think there's another romper just like this one, but it was from Princess Polly, I think. And then she wore that for her birthday. So I found another one and I'm like, not only can we match, but also I know you like this. So I've got to get it for her. That's just the rules. I got two dresses. The first one is this faux latex rosy colored bodycon snatch, 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 snatch. What dress? Is it gonna be too short? Very big possibility. It's a very big possibility. However, she said that she would wear this out. And is the booty okay to be out when we're out? Like, I, I mean, I guess. The next and final dress I got is this just real big gray sweater. It has this velvet belt that I'm absolutely gonna cut off, but it's actually like so incredibly cozy that I'm excited to wear it. And now we'll do pants. I actually only got one pair of pants despite trying on a bunch in store because I was saving my money. I was being conscious of what I like and what I don't like and I did not buy anything that I wasn't 100% sure about. So the only thing that I left with was these luxurious, soft and silky royal purple pants. These are just kind of like luxurious, witchy, something that I can dress down or dress up. Last pair of pants I got is lounge pants. But they're like the brown teddy. The reason I like these so much is because they're so incredibly long. And one of my biggest pet peeves is sweatpants or pajama pants that don't go down to my ankles. Okay. And now it's time for us to show you the outfits that we picked out and styled for ourselves. Everything came out to under $25, so. But we will include prizes, of course. We will, and we will, and we will. Ooh, a lot of stuttering. <laughs> The top that I picked out was $3.69, and it's the skinniest t-shirt that I showed in store. I'm gonna cut off the neck so that I can show you the full styled outfit. I am gonna style it underneath the romper that I showed you guys, and I'm also gonna wear it with this red purse. So to start off my outfit, literally shocking and breathtaking, is a black tank top that I got for a whopping $4.24. And then it's this red maxi skirt but it's like red and black gingham. And then the bottom has these triangle bits at the bottom. It's kind of giving clown in a good way. And both of those are gonna be paired with my new red bag. My skirt was $5.69 and then my bag was $4.99. So before tax, my outfit was $14.92. My top was $3.69. The romper was $7.24. And the bag, ladies and gentlemen, $4.99. Mine came out to $15.92 before tax. So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Thank you so much for coming with us shopping today. It's always so much fun. Of course, we'll do more. So be sure to subscribe if you like this video. You guys are the best and we will see you later. Bye.